Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Bougie. It is 7.15. It is 7.15 in the morning and I have a flat tire. But welcome back to the weekly vlog where I show you what I do every day so you can be nosy about my life. Bougie is so greedy when it comes to feeding time. You can't even let me get it out the can. I can't, if you're stepping all over me, I can't do it. You have to wait. So it's Tuesday morning. I didn't vlog yesterday on Monday. It was just kind of a boring Monday meeting day. Woke up this morning, tried to get Zaya in the car and head off to school. And my car, cause it has a lot of like smart sensor digital things it goes boop boop you have a flat tire and I was like um I don't know what to do about that I'm not good with cars cars scare me in every way so it's like you need to stop right now because you have a flat tire and I'm like uh because I had just like barely started to kind of head out of my neighborhood and it's time to get to school like Zion's gonna be late so I call my dad because <laughs> anything that has to do honestly anything that has to do with anything but especially anything that has to do with cars I'm like daddy so luckily I live really close by to my parents so instead of trying to drive all the way to school on my flat tire. I just called them and drove straight to their house, like made a pit stop at their house, which this is what I was talking about in the podcast episode with my mom when we were talking about my parents being helicopter parents and being extremely involved. And sometimes it gets to be a little overbearing and we have to work on having boundaries, but at the same time, it can be very helpful and very convenient because when I have a flat tire on the way to school in the morning and I call my daddy, I can just pull up to their house and my mama is gonna take Zaya to school for me and my daddy is gonna fix my flat tire. And I don't have to do nothing. <laughs> And I am very thankful for that. So yeah, my dad told me to just bring my car back home for now. They're taking Zaya to school for me right now and then he's gonna come over here and fix my tire. I mean, I don't know what he's gonna do. How do you fix a flat tire besides go get a new tire? I don't even know, but as you can see, clearly there's a big old screw or nail or something that went all the way in my tire and it's going flat pretty fast. So he told me to just bring it home and not drive on it anymore, which makes sense but not a super cute way to start my morning, but whatever. Hey y'all, it is Thursday, 4.15 on a Thursday to be exact. I know I have not been vlogging this week like I normally would, cause we just skipped from, I think, what was it? Tuesday morning when I had a flat tire, now all the way to Thursday afternoon. Honestly, this week has been pretty boring in terms of like, I've just been in the house with Zoe, with Zaya when she comes home from school. While Zaya's at school, Zoe and I have just been here doing a lot of like computer work. Like I've been editing TikToks that were filmed last week. I've been uh, working on planning a few upcoming things, but we're still in like the planning phase. So it's a lot of just inspiration on Pinterest. It's a lot of researching venues online. It's a lot of just boring stuff where it's like nothing to really show you because we're just sitting at the computer looking at stuff. Soon we'll have more to show and we'll have more to share with all these things that I'm planning. That includes Age's bachelorette trip to Nashville, our Mother's Day brunch that Sadie and I are putting together. And also what we have heavily been focused on is already getting a major head start on my 30th birthday party because I do turn 30 in September and I want to do a really big party different than anything I've ever done before and so I'm like we need to actually get started thinking about it now. Yeah we've just been talking and thinking and starting to look up things for all that stuff. Right now I am unboxing some product for a brand deal which is exciting because I told you guys if you've been keeping up with my vlogs and especially my podcast I explained on my podcast how things for me honestly have been a little slow recently. I've not been getting the same opportunities. Brands have not had the same budgets. You know, the brand deals and the sponsorships and the paid opportunities have just been uh, like the industry is a little, a little rocky right now. And so it was kind of a dry spell. You know, where the brands at? Where the brand deals at? But this week has been good. We've been, okay, getting the offers, getting the opportunities, getting the emails, getting the stuff. So I have a few brand deals, which I'm excited about because it's been a minute. So I'm unboxing some product right now for that. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was kind of a blessing and a curse to not be doing the brand deals there for a minute because it made me realize how difficult brand deals can be. Now that I'm back in the swing of doing the brand deals, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot how this goes. I forgot how, like, 
I hold my tongue because I'm not gonna sit up here and, and talk crap about the brands that pay me. It's just part of the, the job. It's part of the industry. It's not one certain brand that's bad. It's not the brands themselves that are bad. It's just the process. I can't even explain to y'all. The back and forth of trying to make sure everything is just right and just so. And did you get the product and we sent the wrong product and actually you already used that product but you gotta redo it because that was the wrong product and we need you to refilm it and re-edit it and re- Four million emails, six million Zoom calls. Y'all would be so surprised just how nitty to the gritty it gets. And I'm being smacked in the face with that this week after not doing it for a while. So I'm just like, <laughs> other than that, things have been just a little boring, not much to share or show. And I just have not been in the mood to vlog, I guess. It's been very much quiet time in front of the computer vibes. But it's Thursday now and I'm starting to try and get ready for the weekend because this weekend I am going to Dallas. I always seem to be going to Dallas. A lot of my friends are in Dallas. It is Daisha and Tasha because if you didn't know, Daisha has a twin sister named Tasha. It is their 30th birthday. It is a pink and white themed private dinner, you know, grown and sexy occasion. I knew that I had some pink and white in my closet because those are two colors that I wear quite often. So I was kind of like, mm, I probably really don't need to buy anything. I'm sure I have something that I can wear. But then Meshki reached out to me to send some product. And I love Meshki if you guys don't know. So I went on Meshki and I was like, okay, let me see what kind of pink and white stuff they might have. I found this dress in the online photo for some reason. I thought it was white with pink lace, but it's actually like champagne you know, more of a beige, champagne, goldenish color. And then also I'm just like too tall for it. It's supposed to be, you know, a really short mini dress. So it's supposed to be short, but on me, it's like really, really short, but it's really cute. Little corset style with the lace trim around the top and the bottom edge, but it's not white, it's champagne. And I feel like if I told people to wear pink and white and somebody showed up wearing champagne, I would be mad. So this is a no-go. Then I got this other corset style mini dress from them as well. This one laces up in the front and has like a little dainty lace going around the top and also the bottom. It is kind of whitish, but it's more like eggshell off-white satin champagne vibes. Like I feel like it's not really white white. So I don't know if this counts and it's also really, really short on me. <laughs> it's giving honestly more lingerie than going to somebody else's birthday dinner. So this just wasn't really the move. Really pretty, really high quality. I really like their stuff, but those two dresses in particular just just aren't really working for me and not working for this occasion. So that left me with going back to my original plan of searching through what I already have in my closet. I did, however, get this purse from Amazon. Look at it. Had to, cause I'm like, whatever I end up wearing, we gonna throw in a pink sparkly purse with it. So I got this, super pretty, decent quality and everything too. Like definitely would recommend. And it comes in a bunch of different colors as well, like green, blue, purple, whatever. So whatever I end up wearing, the idea is to pair this bag with it, most likely. So I went through my closet and picked out all of my pink and white stuff that might work and I have to figure out what I am about to wear. So I have this, which I wore for Valentine's Day a couple years ago. I feel like it's like a little too hoochie for this occasion. I have this, which I wore the white version of for my birthday one year, but I've never worn this one. But it's like, is it pink? This is kind of like coral. It is a shade of pink, but it's like, is that pink? I feel like that's not like pink enough. So I don't know about that. Then I have this white dress, which I've never worn before. I showed it in a TikTok haul. This is a top contender for sure, but I just don't know if it's like too, like, I don't know. But that's a top contender. Both of these are from Opali. Then I have this dress, which I wore on vacation already one time. This is actually also from Meshki. And then I have this, which is just a simple spaghetti strap, super simple like tube dress with spaghetti straps. And then it's like knee length. This is from Naked Wardrobe. This is extremely simple. I mean, it fits really nice and tight. I guess if I wore this, I would maybe pair it with like pink shoes, like pink shoes and the pink bag with it to try to add some razzle dazzle, but the dress itself is really plain, so I don't know. Then 
I found this old guy, this two piece freaking rhinestone sequin extreme set, which I wore for New Year's Eve one year. I looked at like a New Year's Eve Barbie, but this is giving like, are you trying to compete with the birthday girl? Like why you got all them sparkles on and it's not your birthday? I was thinking maybe wear one of the pieces, but not the whole things together. Like wear the top with plain bottoms or wear the bottoms with the plain top. But then it still almost feels like it's still too much. Still too much sparkle for it not being my birthday, you know? Then I have this, which I also wore on vacation. It's a little bandeau top and a little slit skirt. I have like, I don't know, I could like do a full monochromatic look with the Versace heels or something. I don't know. And that's pretty much all I got. Wish me luck with that. <laughs> Oh wait, I just found something else. I have this pink corset top. Like, okay, so hear me out, hear me out. This is kind of what I was thinking, what I said earlier. What if I do like this solid pink top with the sparkly pants? Like, is that too much? Is that like trying to compete with the birthday girls? Cause like, that's a lot of sparkle. Cause it's like the full pants are fully sparkly. But then I could do this top that's like super simple to sort of tone it down a little bit. Okay, so here is hot pink top with the sequin pants. I think it's a really cute look. I feel like it might be a little much as far as like not trying to look like it's my birthday. You gotta be mindful when it's somebody else's birthday, it's kind of rude to, you know, come overdressed or whatever. But at the same time, they sent out a Pinterest board being like, we want you to look cute. We want you to wear pink and white. Like their Pinterest board had razzle dazzle. So they want everybody to look nice, but it's like, where do you draw that line of like, you want me to look nice, but I'm sure you don't want me to look you know, these pants are not comfortable because of how like heavy and crunchy they are, but they're cute. And then I have like different shoes, I guess, that I could put with it. I could even wear white shoes, I guess. And then I have the bag. The bag goes with it, I think. Does the bag go with the pants? This is starting to be kind of a lot of different. <laughs> Here's the off-white tie-up ruched up slit skirt. Don't look at my hairy ashy legs. <laughs> Pink and white, is this white? Is this white enough? Does this even look right together? Definitely more toned down than the sparkle pants. What shoes would I wear? I don't really have a shoe. Does this pink go with this pink? I think it does go with that pink. But this doesn't really go the bag. The skirt is not like the right kind of skirt. The top in the shoe is good. I don't love this skirt with it. I have this. This is more of a pure white white. These are like all kind of giving like beach cover up vibes though. It's not really giving like cocktail dinner. Okay this one is a super slit skirt so it's literally all slit. Again more of a beach beachy cover up type thing but I mean you could wear it more formal like this I guess. This is definitely like pure white. It's a lot of leg. It's a lot of everything. I'm not sure. Okay and then here's these other trousers for like the color blocking. I think wearing hot pink and light pink together can be a moment. I'm just not sure about this exact shade of pink paired with this shade of pink. Like I don't know how I feel about these colors together. And then for shoes it would really be that same shoe is what I got or a white shoe I guess. This bag definitely doesn't now we have all different shades of pink but this shoe goes with the top so I think it kind of works. This is starting, this is looking a little bit corporate though. The slacks, the trousers are giving corporate Barbie. And I don't know if that's the vibe. Here's the shoe. Can you see the shoe? Corporate Barbie? What do we think? Here's the white dress from Opali that's just like sexy white cocktail dress. Is it too much? For so I just can't decide if anything is ever too much for somebody else's birthday. Since it's just white, I feel like I could add the pink by having the bag with it. I mean, this is not the bag that I would normally reach for with this dress, but just to go with the color scheme of the party. See, I didn't really think through the fact that like, I have all these different pink shoes, but it's not this shade of pink. This is too hard. Help me. What do I wear? The styles of the pieces need to match. The one I like the best is the one with the sparkly pants. I'm gonna text Daisha and I'm gonna ask her, is it okay if I wear this to your birthday dinner? Is it too much? What are your thoughts, feelings, and concerns? That's probably gonna be my best bet. <laughs>
Hey guys, it's the following Tuesday. I ain't gonna lie, I have not been doing a good job of vlogging at all, as you can see. I'm not gonna say that I'm already feeling burnt out from the weekly vlog series, but this is episode 13, so I've done 13 straight weeks of vlogging pretty much every day, and that is kind of a lot, so maybe it's all catching up to me now, I don't know, but we, we push on, we will persevere, we will push through, I'm pushing through. So here I am, if you're watching this now, you may have realized that I skipped a week. I didn't upload last week. Normally I upload every Sunday and I skipped last Sunday, but we're here. We're back. I'm sorry. Here is what I ended up wearing to Daisha and Tasha's birthday party, by the way. The party was on Saturday. We had a great time. They had a great time. It was a really cute party, pink and white theme. I think my outfit ended up working out really well. I was happy with it. They were happy with it. Cool, cool, cool. Party was fun. Came back home on Sunday. Monday was yesterday. We had Monday meetings, all the administrative businessy things. And and then now today is Tuesday and I am continuing to work on those paid partnerships that I was telling you guys about. I've actually had a few more deals come through, which is good, you know. Mama gotta pay the bills, mama need the paid partnership. So y'all be on the lookout. If you love me, if you support me, be on the lookout for those hashtag ads. Show me some love if you love me. It really helps me out a lot. But it's like a mix of things as far as like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Some kind of like new, interesting, like working with brands I've never worked with before, doing certain types of content that I don't normally do. So it's kind of fun, but it does get a little bit stressful just keeping up with all the different moving parts. I'm cleaning up my mess right now from one of the little self photo shoots that I did for one of them. So a little behind the scenes, this was like my setup for it. I have my rolling table in here, which is really nice to have it on wheels because I can position it however I need. I've got two softbox lights, ring light in the middle, tripod in the middle. I was shooting with my Canon 70D and I have the Canon app on my iPad so I can bring up the viewfinder and see myself on this screen and press the button here to take the pictures. So that comes in handy. If you have a Canon, definitely down Download the app so you can do that. And so then the camera was here, but I was taking pictures of myself from here. Have a little mirror so I can see myself. And it was like a fun little makeup look photo shoot thing. And I just sat here and did it all by myself. So I took those pictures last week and today I'm just finishing up editing everything and sending it over to the brand. And then I am starting to work on some other partnerships. But another thing that I am working on, and I believe my mom is about to come over in a second to have a little meeting about it with Zoe and I, I have come up with yet another new business idea, I guess is what you would call it, which I know you guys are probably like, whatever happened to the first new business idea as far as doing the Airbnb? It's still in the works. If you guys saw my last vlog, I touched on it in that vlog. Basically, we just have to wait for the right timing to actually buy another property and go down that whole road. So that's more of a timing issue. I'm waiting a little bit before I dive into that project, but that project is still in the works and I still plan on doing it. It just is gonna be like later in the year, I think. Later in the year more so spilling into next year is more so when y'all will probably see that. But this new business venture is more of a right now thing. Like there's no reason why I can't do it right now and I actually do wanna do it like as soon as possible. So this one, you guys, this is not <laughs> gonna be a, just a little tease like the other one was. This is gonna be for real. I'm about to start this process and I'm about to share it with y'all. I'm debating right now if I wanna tell you exactly what it is or not. I'll say this, it has to do with party planning and um, I think that's all I'm gonna say for now. It has to do with party planning. It is a project, like I said, that I plan on doing like right now. So you guys won't have to wait too long to see exactly what it is and everything like that. My mom is about to come over, I think in a minute, and we are gonna like really dive into the first steps of getting this going. So I'm excited. Clearly I've been looking for like something else to dive into and it's kind of hard cause you have to think about timing. You have to think about all these outside factors. It's not smart to just up and do stuff without really thinking through it. So that's I'm excited for this because this is more of something I can do right now and I've been itching to do something like this. So Zoe already did some preliminary research to just kind of see what's out there. If we're understanding like that's what you were going for, like you want like a book, not just like worksheets. It's not gonna really be a book in the sense that this is like, it depends on what you mean by that. You're gonna write paragraphs. 
of information. Yes. Yeah. You're yeah. not just going to give people worksheets. Yeah. Like right. you're going to teach them something. All righty. We just had a very productive meeting about the business idea. I don't want to call it a business idea. About the project. It's two o'clock now. We did stop and have a lunch break. We've been doing really good about actually eating lunch. Thanks to Zoe, who usually is the one who's calls that out. We had a very productive meeting just now about this project. We got a lot of it, like that first round of mapping things out. Three and a half full pages of just stuff listed out. So now we are jumping straight into Zoe and I, my mom's leaving, but Zoe and I are jumping straight into another meeting with Taylor. Can't remember if I told you guys or not, but I am trying to, I'm trying to get on a better schedule with my Instagram and TikTok content. I'm on a pretty good schedule with YouTube, but Instagram and TikTok, I'm, I wanna post more often and more consistently and Taylor and Zoe are helping me with that. So we've scheduled in these like weekly content planning meetings for that. So we're about to join virtually. Here's Taylor. Say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. We're about to do our Instagram and TikTok content planning meeting. Work is pretty much over for the day, meetings and whatnot, school is over. Don't mind Zaya's hair, we will be handling that. She has wanted to keep those twists in as long as humanly possible and we sure did that, didn't we? In my other vlog, I showed you guys how we busted out Zaya's little kid's sewing machine kit and she did her first project on there, but she has hella kits that she got for her birthday. So the kit that she has chosen for her after school activity today Today is I believe this is a Target brand. I think I've seen it at Target before. And they have a bunch of different activities. This is, you can create five scented bath bombs. And my color is actually gonna be this color. Okay, step one, grab a medium sized bowl and pour in a bath bomb mixture packet. Add two tablespoons and one teaspoon of baking soda. Do you know which one is which? This is teaspoon. That's actually a half teaspoon. So how many of those do you need to make one whole teaspoon? Two. Right. Two. Then what does it say right here, starting with this word? Use your hands to mix the ingredients. Be sure that to break up any crumbs. Clumps. Clumps. Use your hands and break up the clumps. Pick out a mica color for your bath bomb and sprinkle it into the mixture. So I picked this pretty blue. Use your hands or a mixing spoon to combine until the color blends evenly. It's like cotton candy. Now measure a half teaspoon of sunflower oil and add it to the mixture. Do it over the bowl and do it slow because it's gonna fill up fast. Then add 15 to 20 drops of any essential oil to the mixture. So you can mix them together or you can just do one. Smell it to see which one you wanna do. This one. You didn't smell the other one. <laughs> this one. You can do both. So if you want to do 20 drops and you want to do both, how many of each should you do? Um, both 15. 15 plus 15 is what? What's half of 20? 21. Half of 20? Half of 20 is 19. No. 19 plus 19 is 20? No. Um. 10. I know. I was about to say that. Okay. So if you want to do both, you can do 10 of each to make 20. Nine, 10, eight, nine, 10. Okay, the next step is to measure a fourth teaspoon of water and then keep mixing it. This is a fourth teaspoon, so that's already what you need. One, whoa. Work the mixture with your hands for one to two minutes. So you're trying to get it to start kind of squeezing together and you need to decide if you need more water. Does it clump together by itself? If you try to kind of make it into a ball, will it stay? Does it need more water? Yeah. No, work it together. You're trying to get it to like actually be more almost like Play-Doh. Now that you've got the wet sand consistency, you're gonna pack it into your molds. So you do it over the bowl so you don't spill the rest, but you're gonna pack it in there very tightly, which means push it down hard so it's really full as you can make it. 
Okay, we got the two sides packed. I put extra on this one and then we're gonna squeeze them together, I guess. And then you immediately demold it. Let's see how that goes. That didn't work. They did say use plastic wrap. So I think we're gonna have to... Oh, I can't get it to stick together. It's not quite stuck together, but you know, you get the idea if you just don't let go of it. And then you're supposed to let it dry out. They didn't say a time period, it just said let dry completely. I feel like overnight would be best, but I guess technically it's probably still gonna work just the same. Olivia, next time what color do you wanna do? This one? Mm -mm. Mm-hmm, I want a pink one. Pink bath bun. And voila! And you can use it for your bath tonight, I guess, if you want to. I think technically you should maybe let it dry overnight, but I think it'll still work the same if you use it in a couple hours. Just checking in to say that it is 10 p.m. Zaya used her DIY bath bomb in her bath tonight and loved it. And I am currently washing my wig in the kitchen sink because the wig that I had on my head, the knots were never bleached and it just wasn't looking as laid as I would like it to look. So I ripped it off and randomly decided I'm just gonna bleach the knots right now. <laughs> so I did the whole bleaching process and now I am washing it and then I'll have to like dry it and style it and reinstall it because I do want to put it back on for tomorrow morning because I will be leaving the house tomorrow. I'm actually doing something exciting tomorrow so just keep watching. It's Wednesday and the special thing that I'm doing today that I alluded to is looking at venues for my 30th birthday party. Although it is only April and my birthday is in September, we are really trying to be ahead of the game with this because it is going to be probably the biggest party I've ever done and I don't want to be doing things last minute. Over the past couple of weeks, Zoe, has already been doing a lot of research on a lot of things, but especially venue options, because this is not going to be a house party like I always do. I really wanna do it at a nice venue. More details to come, of course, about the actual theme and everything that I'm planning, but today I'm just gonna take you guys along to look at some of the first few venues that I am considering. Our first stop of the day is Eberly, downtown Austin, South of Lamar. spaces they have multiple rooms that was just our first stop so I mean it was good to see it not sure how I feel I wasn't blown away honestly by any of the spaces but we shall see we have some time because we didn't really properly schedule out our day because we don't have our next tour until 2 p.m. and it's only like 11 30 or something it's 12 almost quarter 12 oh. but we're gonna get some lunch in the meanwhile we are on Congress like over where Soho houses and stuff and we're gonna go to this place called Prim and Proper Is this real food? Yeah, I've this had, looks very, I've it's had, very I've limited. I mean, it's got salad. Looks like a coffee shop burger, to me. Breakfast tacos, club sandwiches, grilled cheese, fried chicken tender. Beautiful. They have something for me. And they also have cocktails. It is about 1.15. We killed as much time as we could at lunch. Food was good. We are walking down the street. We decided to walk to our next tour, which is at the Line Hotel. It's a 16 minute walk. And since we still have time to kill, we decided why not walk. Look at me, I'm walking around in Austin like a real Austinite. Which I never ever do. Don't ask me nothing about Austin because I don't know. Here is the skyline and that's where we're going, right there. I'm 
birthday, you could do an intimate dinner under the stars. A few select couples, and then you could like move those chairs over there and put like four cedar round tables, a tent over here with the bartender, and you have a, a private chef. Make when you say food. you. When you're throwing me my, <laughs> my birthday. Dinner under the stars would have lights strung up, black tablecloth. I asked you if you wanted to do a double birthday party and you said no. But so now you want to do a whole separate party for yourself? Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to do a double. I don't want to celebrate my birthday with a bunch of 30 year olds. However, I'm more than happy to celebrate with a handful of 60 year olds. <laughs> what a fun party. Hey, see yourself. <laughs> don't you see it? Like, well, I intimate, any of it. intimate dinner under the star. Oh. So it's outdoors, it's, it's in the evenings, it's lights i like the balloon idea i mean you know some kind of decoration got a bartender music maybe even the bar just to have an open bar over here with whiskey tasting and place for the guys to smoke their cigars and just talking <laughs> It's Administrative Professionals Day, so we got Zoe a little gift basket. Fun fact, if you didn't know that was a holiday. All right, y'all, it is 7.22. I'm cooking dinner. I'm doing my dairy-free creamy pasta made from cauliflower, which I've shown in a couple of vlogs and on my TikTok. I've got chicken in the air fryer, got the cauliflower chopped up, onion and garlic on the stove, pasta is boiling, it's giving chef, it's onion, garlic, cauliflower, and then you like blend it up into a creamy sauce. Lemon juice and seasonings and stuff, and it ends up kind of giving a fettuccine vibe. But we definitely need to do some further research and some further investigating and some further touring when it comes to my birthday party venues. The two that we looked at today are like, yeah, there's some viable options. Yeah, it's doable. Yeah, we can maybe make it work and I can end up liking it, but I'm not like super in love with it. Also not super in love with the price points, but I do know that this party is going to be expensive. And I'm just going to tell y'all off top, this party is going to be expensive. Don't be asking me about the price. Don't be asking me about the budget version of this. This party is going to be expensive. My 30th birthday party is going to be very expensive. Let's clear the air now. However that makes you feel is how it makes you feel. <laughs> it's my money and I need it now. Anyways. And don't mind the way I have my hair clipped up. I just have it clipped up in the craziest way just to get it out of my face for cooking purposes. But I am not gonna tell y'all the theme or any further details yet. I mean, we are so early and I don't wanna like give it all away or jinx it or anything like that. So I know you guys are gonna be mad because you probably wanna know, or maybe no one cares, I don't know. But I do have the theme and everything already picked out. We've already been working on this for a minute. Cause like I said, I really wanted to start planning this way in advance. It's giving wedding low key, it's giving small wedding. But y'all gotta just keep following along the vlogs because I'm just gonna take y'all along month by month, week by week. So just stay tuned, okay? It's Thursday morning. I have some content that I wanna shoot today, like TikTok, Instagram, and I want to try and maybe record a podcast episode as well. So I am gonna get ready. I slept with this wig just all crazy last night. So it's all like frizzy and tangled, even though I had it kind of nice yesterday. I didn't sleep with it properly, so now I need to refresh it. This is like a natural body wave hair texture, so it's one of those just add water and go type of deals. So yeah, it's like really frizzy. I think I'm just gonna like really wet it down, put some cream in it and then like diffuse it, I guess. And then I'm probably gonna go live and do my makeup. I've been doing that a lot recently, like on Instagram live, kind of doing like little makeup tutorials on there. I do have a in-depth makeup tutorial that I've posted here on my YouTube channel if you haven't seen it, which shows like all of my go-to products and techniques. So definitely check that out if you haven't seen it, but not really a beauty guru like this youtube channel is not like for makeup so i've also got a meeting with one of the brands that i'm working with later this afternoon so it'll be good that i'll already be ready and presentable it is already 4 47 i don't know where the day went but i went live well first i did my hair then i went live and did my makeup then i attempted to film some tiktok content but my tiktok app is glitching out the wazoo right now so that was a struggle and annoying but I managed to get 
part of it done. Then I had that meeting with the brand that I mentioned. I had that at four. That went until about 4.30. Then I had a sponsored post that needed to go up today. So I had to, you know, get all that approved and posted and make sure that's good, did that. And now I'm going to do my podcast episode. Zaya is here home from school. Obviously she gets home from school at like 3.15. Anything after 3.15, I usually try to start shutting my work day down by that time, just so it could be more like, like, you know, mommy time, but today everything just took way longer and I really wanna get this podcast episode done. So Zaya will entertain herself upstairs so it can be quiet enough down here for a good hour while I do this episode. I'm doing an Ask Raven episode. This is my first time doing this where I'm gonna be giving you guys advice for your situations and problems and scenarios that you sent in. I already have them flowing in. I'm picking which ones I'm gonna answer. I'm specifically picking ones that I feel like I can give good answers to, you know what I mean? Like some questions that came in, I'm like, girl, I don't know. I don't have no advice to give you. I am not, you know, seasoned in that area, whatever it may be. So I'm trying to pick ones that I feel like I can actually give decent advice for. So yeah, stay tuned for this episode. I'm sure it will be very interesting. Don't kill me if my advice is bad. Hey, I'm not a professional. So what do you want from me? So it's 1.45 p.m. on Friday now, new day, same sweater, y'all know the drill. Zoe actually just left. She left early because she had an appointment to go to, but also because I sent her off to go drop off some dry cleaning, which I normally don't have to do dry cleaning because like, I don't know, I normally just don't do dry cleaning, but I had a stack of clothes laid out on my closet floor because I was doing some like organizing and judging around. And the particular stack of clothes was all like nice, like dry clean only, can't put it in the washing machine type of clothes. Some of which still had tags on it, unworn, brand new. And Bougie decided to go in my closet and just pee straight on top of, straight through the whole stack of clothes that I had laid out on the floor. I don't know what possessed him to do that. Actually, I do know. One time he got locked in my closet on accident. Like the cleaning people didn't know he was in there and they accidentally closed the door. So he was trapped in there. So he had no choice but to go potty on the floor in my closet. It, and I don't blame him for that. And it was an honest mistake of the cleaning people. But cats have this thing sometimes where if they poop or pee somewhere once, now they've marked it and they're gonna keep coming back and using that same spot. So there's this certain spot in my closet where Bougie is always trying to go in there and use it as a litter box, even though he has a litter box. And I don't know what to do to make him stop going in there. Like I've tried to clean it, I've tried to remove his scent, I've tried to block it off, but he just keeps going in there. And so I made the mistake of laying down a pile of nice clothes in that general vicinity. And he decided, oh, this is my territory that I marked, I'm going to pee on on top of your clothes. If you have cats, you know how cat pee is. So, said all that to say, Zoe just took that stack of clothes to the dry cleaners. Hopefully they can get the pee out and get the smell out. I haven't been vlogging a lot because it's just been a lot of sitting at my computer, editing content. All day today I've been editing the podcast that I filmed yesterday and I'm just about to post it. We've been doing a lot of talking about and typing up plans for the new project that I've been alluding to, business venture thing, but it's just a lot of sitting in here, either just me by myself or me and Zoe or me and my mom. We sit in here, we talk, we plan, we type, we edit. It's just a lot of that. And especially when it's stuff that I don't really want to tell y'all yet, it's like there's nothing to vlog. That's so super boring. So I'm trying to think of ways to still keep this weekly vlog going and keep it somewhat interesting and not just have it be me talking in my office the whole time but that's kind of my life right now and then the thing is on the weekends because I've been doing a pretty good job of separating work and play yes I work hard and I'd be locked up in my office all week but on the weekends I've been doing more like getting out of the house and doing stuff with my friends and like blah blah but studies show the data doesn't lie y'all do not like and when I say y'all I mean the greater y'all my, my audience in general. Y'all don't like to see what I'm doing on the weekends with my friends. Y'all do not like to see me travel, doing a girl's trip, birthday party, birthday dinner, night on the town. When I'm off doing my grown woman thing, having a good time without Zaya, and it's not like family time, but it's like grown woman time, y'all don't like to see that. If I do a girl's trip vlog, 
vlog, it doesn't perform well. If I post things on Instagram of me like going to the club, going to dinner, it doesn't perform well. Anything along those lines, the data doesn't lie. And I've been gathering this data for years. For the most part, it never performs well. And y'all basically, it tells me y'all don't wanna see that. Y'all wanna see the family time. Y'all wanna see, you do wanna see me travel if I'm traveling with Zaya, you know what I mean? If I'm going somewhere with Zaya and it's more of that kid friendly, family friendly, then it's like, okay, cool, we get excited for that. But if it's just me and my friends, it's like side eye. And I don't know what that's about, <laughs> but the data doesn't lie. And so I'm kind of struggling right now because I'm like, my day-to-day, weekday life is really boring. I'd be sitting at my computer having meetings and editing content. I feel like my weekend life is a little bit more interesting and I can actually take y'all along and actually go do something out the house. But then y'all don't wanna see that. So, I'm a little stumped right now. I'm starting to feel that feeling, you know, when I first announced that I was bringing the weekly vlogs back, y'all know I had some hesitation because there's pros and cons to trying to vlog your life all the time. And I'm starting to feel the cons a little bit, but maybe I just need y'all's feedback. Let me know in the comments what you do and don't like about the weekly vlogs, what you would like to see more of in the weekly vlogs, what you would like to see less of in the weekly, but within reason that I can't change my life just to make the content a certain way, you know? what I mean but yeah let me know <laughs> So the other thing is that the weather has been outrageous. So bipolar, hot, cold. And this is the third time it has hailed recently. Like the third time in the past couple of weeks that we've been having these crazy hail storms. I've never seen this much hail in my life. My backyard is currently flooding. The jasmine plants are flooding. I've never seen this much hail, especially all at once. Like this much hail piling up on the ground. I've never seen it like that before. Look at the flood. Look at the Nile River forming in my my backyard going straight into the jasmine plants. I thought it was time to take the furniture covers off, but I probably should have put them back on. But yeah, that's the other thing. The weather has been so bad. I thought earlier today it was like super sunny and nice for a hot second. I was like, oh, maybe we can like get in the pool after I finish my work today. No, started hailing, raining cats and dogs. And the weather has been like this for a while now. So it's making it hard to like go out and do anything. All right, last little question I wanna leave y'all with before we end off this vlog, I'm circling back to trying to get custom curtains made for my window here in my office because I record my podcast in here. And not only do I just want the curtains for decor reasons, but it should really help with absorbing. What is this? but it should really help with absorbing the echo in here for better sound quality when I do record my podcast. So I've already talked about this. I know I want to do floor to ceiling drapes that are like really large and in charge and dramatic to really just add some oomph to this like whole wall over here. So I'm thinking like big old floor length panels on either side. That's why they have to be custom because they need to be so big. Stores don't sell curtains in that size. I've gotten custom drapes from Pottery Barn before. That's what I have in my bedroom. Room. I previously went to get swatches because I was pretty sure I wanted some sort of neutral, but I don't want just plain white. I got a swatch of the two shades of white just to see. I could do white in here, but I just feel like that would be so boring and so plain against an already white wall. I do have like some white design elements in here that like, you know, it could go, but really it's more of an off-white cream situation that I have in here, like the chair, the rug, the pillows and everything. It's more giving off-white than white. So if anything, I would probably do the more off-white versus pure white, but I really just don't want to do that because I feel like that's so boring and I like more of a funkier textured, just a little bit more to it, I think I would like, but not anything too crazy because I already have like pink walls and a gallery wall and a pink couch and I don't want to like overpower this room. I already have like some interesting things going on and I just don't want the room to start feeling swallowed up. So I wasn't going to do any sort of like bright color or pattern or anything, but I think a little bit 
bit of a color and a little bit of a texture would be nice. So I'm leaning towards these three options. I also like the fact that these three options coordinate with the flooring in here really well. They kind of pick up on the tones of the floor. Like if I zoom out, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Obviously there's like a lot of color variation in this floor. There's darker and lighter points to it. So I feel like these three, like any of the three, they kind of all pull tones from the floor. So from that point, I feel like any of the three would work. It's just kind of a question of like light, medium, dark at this point. Like how dark do I wanna go? I almost feel like the, the super light one is like maybe not the vibe. This one feels like the most, they both are pretty matchy matchy with the floor. And I also don't want it to like weirdly blend in with the floor if that makes sense. Cause they are going to hang all the way down to the floor. Does that look weird if it's too matchy matchy with the floor if it's hanging down to the floor? I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction at all with this sort of color tone, but that was just kind of like my first idea. What would y'all choose? Dark, medium, light, one, two, three, dark, medium, light. Which one would y'all do out of these three? for curtains that are going to hang here. Comment down below.